In today's Madden 21 video, I'm going to be breaking down a unique coverage that I think everybody needs to be considering using in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you've never been to my YouTube channel ever before, uh, I just want to encourage you to go ahead and click subscribe at the bottom right of the, of the screen because every single day I upload four videos that are designed to help you in some type of practical, tangible way improve your game in Man 21. And so if you're looking to get better, I would subscribe to the channel. You can also turn the notifications on by clicking the bell icon, and that's going to allow you to be notified whenever we go live for our nightly live stream. We stream every single night at 10 o'clock Eastern time. All right, guys, this I came across this kind of by accident, and I'm going to tell you this is pretty solid. Um, I didn't know this. Uh, I was watch. I, to be honest with you, I came across a couple of other videos uh, on YouTube. I was watching uh, just. I'll, I'll go on and I'll just see what everybody else is doing from time to time just to see if there's anything that I can learn. And this, th I came across this, this, um, this video and it was talking about outside quarters and it was talking about basically the flaws of outside quarters this year. So uh, my typical zone drops, uh, basically I like to base the line. Uh, I'll put option defense on conservative, tackling aggressive. My flats, I typically put them at 25 to 30, somewhere in their zones. And then curl flats, I'll typically put them at five. And then hook zones, I'll put them at 10. And I came across this um, two things first. I came across this because I was playing a guy and he was running cover three on me, but he was running it and he wasn't, he wasn't doing what I'm going to suggest you do. But I, what I, what I came away with from the game was, man, cover three is really good. If you can keep it from getting burned over the top, right? Because we've all, um, we've all played cover three, cover threes and been able to beat them over the top. I've got a ton of videos on my channel that teach you how to do that. Um, but what if there's what if there's a way to to play cover three where you don't get burned over the top in this game? So we all know everyone's favorite cover three beater in Madden is corner strike. So we're going to talk about that from Gun Bunch. This is nickel three three five, and the, and and I found this because I was developing a couple different coverages, right? Tampa two, Mabel basically, and then cover three uh, Buzz. And what I found is two things. First and foremost. Trying to glitch out Tampa 2 this year is not as easy as it's been, at least in my opinion. Um, if you put the middle linebacker in a deep third, by and large, it's a fairly safe defense. Fairly safe defense. Now, cover three, on the other hand, again, I think one play touchdowns over the top are not as easy as they've been in the past. Cover three and cover four, to me, have always been easy to beat. But I'm going to show you this one little trick that I think is going to take your cover threes and your cover fours to the next level. So I'm just going to put cover four in my audibles here just so that I can talk about it. But we're going to specifically focus in on the three double buzz. Now, um, basically what um, I've been taught to do and probably what you've been taught to do is one of the ways that you can keep your cover threes from being burned is to put your defenders in an outside quarter. So let me show you first and foremost the, the idea and then we'll show you why uh, this matters and what you can do about it. So what everyone would do is they would basically take CD Lamb and they'd put him on a streak. That's pretty much it. And then they would take Michael Gallup and they'd have him on a corner route. And Michael Gallup would basically pull the outside third. And you could just pass lead this to the right, click on, and swerve catch it. And this was a one-play score against cover three. Very, very consistent, right? Well, what we're going to talk about here is a way that I believe you might be able to change it. So the way you used to be able to do it, okay, the way they used to be able to do it, is you you would basically um, put them in outside quarters. And that's what you would do. So so here you see I've got them in outside quarters now, not deep thirds. And what you'll see is it's it's fairly similar to the same. You see it's fair. At that time Jair Alexander got got back. Let me show you. Uh, let me show you a. Um, an example where he won't okay let me show you an example where he won't so if I know they're in cover three um, one or, if I know they're putting outside quarters on the field one thing I might just do um, is just run uh, an out route instead I think out routes work a little better than corner routes in my opinion this year it's just my opinion um, but you'll see he'll completely go to him and then you can pass lead that to the right again and you can glitch out the deep quarter so deep quarters no longer do that. In fact, um, they actually, uh, weirdly enough, if, if I run, a, this was where it really caught my attention. So 
basically what this this guy was doing was he was running like an in route five and in or whatever and you'll see and i don't know if this will happen here it's national you know live internet here but watch that deep quarter he'll kind of go sometimes he'll play match you know some they're just kind of not i don't know why but they just don't work like they used to okay they just don't work like they used to and that's that's the key so you can glitch out deep quarters fairly easily this year so you can't do a deep third you can't do a deep quarter cover two is really good um for not getting glitched out deep because and when i say cover two is really good this is the cover kind of cover two i'm talking about i'm talking about a tampa two with cloud flats on the outside that are backed up and then you doing something like this right here so you've got deep halves basically and and, and yes the underneath is open you know yes you can hit the flat and yes you can take your seven yards i understand that but from the lens of corner strike, right, the primary setup that people will run from corner strike, and I, and I do understand that this is going to be open, so understand that I understand, right? But if if they run corner strike, they're not going to be able to hit this streak. That's what I'm trying to get at, okay? So now what I want to do is shift the conversation into how I think you can get this defense significantly better. Um, and this took a little bit of time to, 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 to learn and some experimentation. But literally, all you're going to do is you are going to never, and I mean never, run your safeties on deep middle zones ever again. You're going to always run this guy right here on a deep middle zone, and I would put a safety in this position, okay? And then what you're going to do is you're going to take your outside guys that are in outside thirds or outside corners, turn them into deep halves, turn them into deep halves. And what you'll find used to this would get torched over the top. I mean, this would absolutely get destroyed this year. OK, this is Amari Cooper going up against a no name. And I'll just um, just for the sake of the video, I'll go ahead and shade coverage over top just just to be safe here. But you'll see this streak does not beat this this year. Used to, you could just lob that up because he would invert in and it would give them a one step. You you can't do that. That that does not work in this year's game. That's why, again, you know, and, and I've talked about this a lot on my channel, this year's game is different than Madden 20, right? Madden 20 was different than Madden 19. Different things work every year. Now you see here if he gets missed base line, but even then, like, Yes, you get an aggressive catch, and that's fine. I didn't click on the, the, the corner. But you'll see, you know, if these guys are in deep halves, even if you press up, I think shading over top helps a little bit in the zone this year. But you'll see literally, you know, here I might be able to beat it over the top there. You see I get the over shoulder animation that is such effect, so effective. But that's because we're misaligned, right? It, 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 in base align, oftentimes you get misaligned. Um because of the way that they do it so if i drag him over just like this now you'll see that this this route should not beat me over the top you'll see here i'll lob it up click on and i'm over top and i'm able to make the interception with kevin king huge huge to me um and the reason why is because this concept and lord help me if i'm wrong on national live internet but this concept right here does apply to corner strike the lovely lovely setup that it is uh watch the watch this play you can no longer throw this streak it's not there not there at all now remember i talked about shading my flats right uh and so what i would do out of this obviously the corner is going to be wide open but what i would do is i would mabel the bunch side so this is a you know specifically this is a really easy way to stop gun bunch i think but you've got your flat there, and then you have your your safety. I personally think putting the safeties and hook curls is the way to go this year. I think they just play better. Um, you might think it's better to put them in purples, but we'll do something like this right here, and then I'll just use her this right side. But you got your deep halves, and then I've mabled one side. This is going to completely box Gun Bunch, I'm telling you. Um, you got the deep third for the post route. Like there's just not going to be much open. Um, can't throw the flat can't throw the corner i mean here you can kind of fit the corner in, but see how he gets back on the ball and that's to the wide side of the field you know that's 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 the best case scenario for that corner route 
Uh, and you'll see, I mean, to me, this is very, very consistent. Um, and it's very, very effective. I mean, you know, we're able to really do some, to me, some significant, some significant damage to, to one of the best offenses in the game. We're just going to drop a purple over there to throw Mabel at it. And what you'll see is literally, um, this is this is going to take things away now. If if I had a really really good pass lead, I could, I might be able to fit that in. But I feel like you can click on to that. I feel like you can click on to that um, with your uh, user the deep middle zone because your safeties are in hook zones, hook curls. They're not going to be that bad, uh, at least in my opinion. You've got your strong safety going to come down hard on the flat. You're using this side of the field anyway. You've got zones over here to the left side. Like to me, this is a very unique coverage defense. I just haven't seen people run this. Maybe they are, and I just haven't seen it. But you'll see here. If I try to throw this this ball, I can I can get out there. And again, part of it's because I'm not I'm not able to to to, to do everything that I want to do because I'm trying to use two controllers here. But this this defense, I think this defense has some legs, uh, especially against the gun bunch, especially against. Um, things like that that are really effective against cover three and you know you'll see this this is gonna um this is gonna be very effective i mean it's just it just is you know you're gonna use through the left side and really on the left side of the field like you know most of the routes they're gonna run are post routes and so you're dropping a middle third right back into that window you drop a, you've got a, a guy going over for the cross route um, you know, so if they try to throw this over the top of this, you get on it and you pick it, you know, but you're, you're now able to really significantly lock down a lot of stuff from gun bunch, at least in my opinion, um, with this little trick here, um, you mable it because again, everyone in their, everyone in their mom is going to run flats, uh, this year because of how effective the flats are. I think you have to run some type of mable coverage, but realistically, like, there's not as much open. I mean, there's just not. You try to throw that to the right, you're going to throw it right into a guy. Now, some would say, well, what if you just throw it straight to the middle of the field? Well, that's where I say you sub a safety in a fast night. If that's Adrian Amos right there dropping back into that zone, not going to happen. And it will be because I use the Packers. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to share that with you. I think this is going to be a significant shift in the meta. Um, I think the zones are getting better. I don't know that necessarily – zone coverage itself is getting better i just think the players are getting better that we're able to get access to in mutt so anyways guys if you want to join my discord i would really appreciate it i think it would help you uh discord is a communication platform that i have here on my channel set up for people to talk madden it's literally our follow-up system i mean we want you to watch a video and then we want you to get in discord because discord is where really a change happens because you're going to start talking to more Madden. Uh, you're going to start talking about Madden more consistently. You're going to start learning concepts. You're going to start learning plays and strategies that work every single year, uh, but also specifically that work this year really well. Uh, and then you're also going to be able to get some good lab partners. You know, I believe one of the best ways you can improve is by uh, improving who you're around. So by doing that, that is going to significantly help your Madden game. All right, guys, we will see you in our next upload coming in a couple of hours. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you have notifications on, and we'll see you soon.